Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take out the interior pad portion so you can wash it. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. Obviously strollers get horribly dirty and this is gonna be the easiest option to throw it in your washing machine and get it washed. So first thing you probably have figured out that this thing is a little bit tricky to take that portion out. So what we're going to do here is come around, go ahead and hit the brake so it's not going to be moving on you. And then you want to go ahead and collapse the top and bring it back. Now I was just going to go ahead and clean this as well, but I'm going to actually try to wash this as well. Just this top portion here. So that just zips off. Very simple. Prepare that for the wash there. Now you're going to see these little clips here. Go ahead and just unbutton that one there on that side and then come around here to this side. Go ahead and pop off that one. All right, with those popped here, a little tricky with one hand, but we have Velcro all the way around the back portion here. And on this side as well. So once that Velcro is completely removed there on the back as well, then you kind of just push that in front of the pad there to get that out of the way so it's not sticking. And then come over here to these tabs here. And again, a little tricky with one hand, but just on each side, go ahead and pull like this and then use two hands, but it just comes off. And what it is, it's attached there on the aluminum rail. And then that comes off completely there. Now come around back to the front here and underneath, you're gonna see a little Velcro right there and there, just a little Velcro strap here and here. And then this should actually be over this bar. I think I was messing around with it the other day, but this pad should actually be over that bar. So you're gonna have to remove that from the bar to expose it like it is here. And then come around to the back side here where we need to remove these clips from this, and I'm probably gonna have to use two hands again. There we go, they're on both sides. Now, this gets real, a little bit trickier. Now we're actually gonna have to get a Phillips screwdriver and remove the two screws inside of this little snap-on button here on both sides. There's my trusty Phillips screwdriver there. And again, with it loosened up, that removes there. Now again, go over to the other side and do the same thing to this side here. Now come up to the top here, go ahead and push this in. And then you're gonna see your little clip here and you're gonna go ahead and push that one back. This one only has one on the bottom there. Just go ahead and push that back. And then we're gonna kind of halfway fold it, kind of like this here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and slip the sides down to get them out of the railing. The easiest thing to do here is we want these tabs slipped out from underneath the crevices there. So you just kind of pull down on it like that and then this will go ahead and, so let me put it back there and then let me show you. So I go ahead and just pull down on this and then what you want is you want this out of the crevice here, just like that. And then just kind of push upwards while you're pulling out and then the whole entire side there will go ahead and pull out here, including the little button there, as we can see in the side rail. So again, we're gonna do the same thing over here, pull down that exposes our little tab here. Bring that out. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. It's a little tricky. And we just push up, and we just push up through the railing as we can see here, and out we go. A little tricky one hand. Then with the back folded frontwards there, then we have a couple more little clips here. Go ahead and undo those clips. Then slip it off of the back bar there. And then we have one of our last steps. It's a little hard to see. We have a few more snaps right there and right there. You might be able to see it a little bit better if you folded it back frontwards. There they are, I actually snapped the wrong ones there. We have a snap that holds up the bottom portion. Don't unsnap that one, but snap the one that goes on top of that one on each side. And after those are snapped off, then our last step is the same exact thing with these little pull down, expose that and then pull up. Let me show you, so we pull down we pull down and then pull that out, so that's exposed. And then we just go ahead and pull on up. That removes it from the aluminum bar there. And officially, you have removed 
your seat. <laughs> now you can actually launch a rocket and work for NASA. That is a big process, but overall looking fantastic. We're going to throw that in the washing machine. I have a front loader, so I'm not concerned at all about the backboard or anything like that, but you potentially could undo all the Velcro in there, see if anything else removes if it doesn't fit in your washing machine properly. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. And again, smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you diagnose the issue. That was ridiculous. Don't let the party stop guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.